Crossing the Chasm Marketing and Selling Disruptive Products to Mainstream Customers A video by Warren Barth Innovators face a challenge when introducing a new technology to the market, often struggling to get it from the interested early adopters to the mass majority. It is the difference in viewpoints between these two groups of people that is known as the chasm. Market uptake is described by the technology adoption life cycle, which consists of five groups. First are the innovators. These are the technology enthusiasts. They care about the technological properties and not the market success. They are the first people to adopt any new technology. The early adopters are visionaries. They are the pioneers. They align the emerging technology with a strategic opportunity and are willing to take risks to achieve a competitive advantage. The early majority are pragmatists. Therefore, they have a strong sense of practicality. They are not willing to take risks and seek established references before adopting. The late majority will wait for the technology to become well established within the market before adopting it. Last are the laggards. They are not willing to adopt the technology until it's a necessity. However, it is often a hot technology product cannot be readily translated into a new major benefit for the majority. This creates two markets, the early market and the mainstream market. The psychology of these two groups is very different in how they approach a new technology. This gap in the technology adoption life cycle is known as the chasm. So how do you cross the chasm? How can you take on the market leaders when they already have established relationships with their customers? The customers will be suspicious of a new and untried player. The key is market segmentation. You have got to target a very niche market. It's got to be a group of individuals that need you to solve their problem, drive the existing competitors out and use this as a base for broader operations. You have got to segment, segment, segment until you have the opportunity to dominate and own that market. This is how the early adopters see you as a leader. Although the early market was willing to settle for a product that they were happy to build on, the mainstream market expects the whole product. To build on the generic product, the whole product should include additional software, additional hardware, system integration, Installing and debugging, change management, training and support, standards and procedures. Providing the whole product will ensure the marketing promise to the customers matches the product shipped. This will allow you to create a marketplace in which your product is the only reasonable buying proposition. It's not easy to develop a whole product by yourself. Therefore, creating partnerships will allow you to develop the product the mainstream customers require. So now we have defined a target market with a problem that our technology solves, providing a truly compelling reason to buy. We have developed the whole product with the necessary partners. The last major obstacle is the competition. When introducing a disruptive technology, it's easy to think there is no competition. However, the reality is, if there's no competition, there's no market. Your competition is the current provider of their need. As your product moves through the technology adoption life cycle, the value to the customer changes. In the early market, decisions are made based on the technology and the product. Once you reach the mainstream customers, the key domains are market and company. This can be described by the competitive positioning compass. Crossing the chasm represents a transition from product-based to market-based values. To link this back to competition, you need to understand who the market alternative is to formulate your unique value proposition. Therefore, this will be different for the product-centric and market-centric groups. So to wrap it all up, in summary, here's how to cross the chasm. Number one, understand the technology adoption lifecycle. Number two, define your target market. Number three, provide a whole product and use partnerships to develop this. Number four, know your competitors. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching and check out the description below for more information on Jeffrey Moore's book, Crossing the Chasm.